Hey everybody, welcome back. So if you haven't been here before, my name is Mary, and today I'm going to be talking about a historical western um, romance series that I read on a recommendation from Sarah. And I hadn't read a you know historical western in a very long time, and so I was looking for something to read, and she suggested in the comments that I read this series. Um, I had never read, the series is by Lorraine Heath. Um, I've never read anything by her, and I don't know why, because she's been around a while, and um, I, ha I did have known of her, but again, I just hadn't picked up anything, or, you know, for whatever reason. So, I decided I was going to read it. Um, it is the Texas Trilogy, and again, it's a Western, historical Western romance series. There are five total works and three primary works in the series from 1997 to 2019, the series revolves around Dallas Lee, which is the oldest brother. Now, Dallas wants to um, build an empire with cattle. He also wants to build a town because they're out in Texas. You know, this is 1876, and um, it's not as populated, you know, and he needs to bring women out there, but, you know, because they have all the ranch hands and this and that, and it's just not growing, and it's hard to get men to come out there and work. So he wants to build a town, you know, and build an empire with cattle, build a town, you know, get, you know, population in there. So that's what it's based around. And it's the first book in the series, Texas Destiny, Dallas sends away for a mail order bride. Now that bride is Amelia Carson. So before he goes, has to go pick her up from the train station, he breaks his leg. So he has to send Houston his other brother. And again, they're all named after towns and cities in Texas. There are three brothers. So the second brother, Houston Lee, goes to pick her up. And as you can imagine, um, what happens with that, you know, of course, with Houston going to pick up Amelia, um, things kind of evolve. And again, I don't want to give away too much in the books, you know, because that's the fun of reading is going in and, you know, reading it yourself. And, um, not having your surprises, um, have any surprises, but Houston is scarred from the Civil War. Um, his face, he's lost an eye and his face is scarred. And him and Amelia just kind of really, um, really um, find each other. So I, I did enjoy that. Um, that was my favorite. The first one was indeed my favorite book out of the series. I loved Amelia, I think was... Um, my thing. I just, I just loved her personality and her, and, and it's funny because I read some reviews on these books and um, of course not everyone feels the way I do, but I tell you there are some interesting reviews on Goodreads on this that um, even if you don't agree, it will certainly make you laugh. Um, the second book in the series was Texas Glory. Now this is, da again, Dallas, um, Dallas Lee is still looking for a wife, you know, his his big thing is he wants a son to carry on his legacy because he's building an empire. So he finds out the neighbors that they're feuding with have a daughter. And so they kind of bargain um, bargain with land and this and that, using water and such, in order if he can have Cordelia, which is the, which is the daughter. Um, so he marries Cordelia. Um, it's a rocky road. Um, a lot of things happening there um, without giving anything away in, that's in the book. But, you know, again, another, I really enjoyed the second book. Um, Cordelia was just, uh, how can I explain it? She was sweet one minute and then uh, not so the next. But uh, very, very interesting characters in that book also. And I kind of... Um, in this story, you, you um, meet Raleigh Cooper, um, who's a young boy in the book, um, very abused. Um, absolutely good storyline with that. And um, I really loved um, that side of Cordelia um, that she showed with Raleigh Cooper. And you'll understand when you read the book. So um, I really enjoyed that aspect of it. And um, I really enjoyed Raleigh. So... You'll meet him again in the second book, and you'll meet him later also. So, 
And the third book in the series is Texas Splendor. Now that's Austin Lee, the third brother, the youngest brother. Um, he goes to jail, five years in prison for a crime he didn't commit um, because he didn't want to say where he was on the night of the murder. He was protecting um, the girl that he was indeed with. So when he gets out, obviously this girl is already married, um, breaks his heart, so he leaves to go try to clear his name and he meets Lori Grant. Now, Lori Grant is a young woman who um, is dealing with her own secrets and these two are intertwined in more ways um, than just first meeting. Um, and you will find out, again, without giving anything away in the book, I don't want to do that, but yeah, they have more in common than they both know <laughs> at the time of their meeting. But, you know, he agrees to marry her and um, brings her back to the ranch. And it was a really good story. Um, I kind of, when I first started reading it, I really didn't see where it was going. I kind of had an inkling. But um, really interesting um, twist there with this with this story. And... Um, Truly enjoyed it. Now, the, the fourth book in this series, and again, there's there's a couple um, smaller ones. Like the fourth book is The Texas Legacy, which is one of the smaller novellas, is what I'm trying to say. Um, and that, that goes years ahead. So now we're looking at um, Dallas's daughter, Faith, and Faith and Raleigh are all grown up now. And now this is kind of one of the odd things when you, you read this one is like, how in the world? Because I will tell you that Cordelia and Dallas adopted Raleigh. So it was kind of an odd storyline. You're like, where is this going? Um, how is she going to do this? How is Lorraine Heath going to pull off bringing together two people who were kind of raised by the same, you know, he, they each called, you know, Cordelia Ma. You know, so it's, I wondered how she was going to work through that, but you know she did a great job. Because as you read the books, you will see that, that Raleigh never really, um, he doesn't allow himself to see himself as part of the family, even though they see him that way, of course, except for Faith. And so she pulls that off. She really pulls off their marriage, and um, I truly... Um, I have to say, I enjoyed the book. At the end of the day, I really enjoyed the book. And um, she pulled it off, and she made it work. And it was just, it, all in all, a great read. And um, I plan to read more by Lorraine Heath, because, again, I love historical westerns. But I also see that she does um, Regency. Um, and I'm not sure, but I might have saw some modern. But I'm not sure. So I will be reading more by her, and I thank Sarah for this suggestion because I, you know, without suggestion, I would have never went ahead and read anything by Lorraine Heath. I love her style of writing. Um, I really enjoyed it, and I'm sure I'm going to enjoy all the books um, that she has written. So, and again, it's one of those things, like I said, where there's so many books and so little time, it's like trying to find time to read everything, but, you know. I will get back to Lorraine Heath and I will be reading more by her for certain. So I wanted to do my review on that on the Texas Trilogy by Lorraine Heath. Um, very good read, you know, based in Texas around 1876. Um, really, really good read. So with that, I'm going to go. But until I see you again, hey guys, happy reading. Mm -hmm.